start at the first, then we'll go to Aaron. The end game is aluminum dioxide in all the soils when you've got to go to companies like Monsanto. They're coming out with whole seed lines that will grow in aluminum poisoned soil. But that's only part of it. Dr. Deagle, can you tell us something about chemtrails? How toxic are the materials in chemtrails? Chemtrails. And uh, chemtrails, by the way, barium salts are in chemtrails. They are 10,000 times more toxic to your nervous system than lead. They contain microbacteria, viruses, Pseudomonas florensis, bacteria, human plasma. Hmm, wonder what human plasma is doing in chemtrails. And this is not by conjecture. I did a lot of research before I'd ever say this. But these chemtrails are nasty. And there's three reasons for chemtrails. The first is, they, and I talked to my NSA buddies at Fort Carson, Peterson Air Force Base in Buckley, where I was actually their doctor taking care of the pilots flying and spraying the chemtrails. So I know it's real. If anybody says it's not real, they're full of it. Okay, because I'm a whistleblower on the inside. It's not open for discussion. And my NSA buddies told me, 95% of them told me, they were up there trying to spray to reflect the sun out to stop global warming. So most of them were dumb enough to believe that. Let me explain. Turned off its fucking plume. They do vary from time to time. They vary the formula. No, there it is. But here are the basics. Aluminum oxide, which is... Uh, one of the most deadly heavy metals. It's been like it acts six as a reflector for skin and wave technology. Same path. Uh, it affects us. Uh, barium oxide is pretty much the same thing, but it's not as poisonous, but it's using it to affect our consciousness. We have uh, bio, bio nano particles, here, here, which here, act again as skin and wave long. transmitters. Once the powder particles in us, they act as uh, uh, receptors for the skin and waves. Um, to affect our consciousness and synthetic polymers which which do the same thing so they got a a, a, a group of things okay now next thing they use ethylene dibromide ethylene but dibromide is uh, one of the uh, ranges the 12th uh, most deadly toxin it displaces iodine from the system therefore uh, diminishes uh, health and intelligence um, but it is a poison on its own. It's also in a lot of uh, fire retardants. Then we have uh, viruses of what I call the biological warfare. Viruses, bacteria, fungus, and Morgellons. I'm curious, how many people have heard about Morgellons? One. Okay, two. Okay, not a whole lot of people. Morgellons is something that we, uh, <clears throat> it appears that we don't have a cure for. It attacks your skin hair and nails that literally melts your skin away and it ultimately kills you. There's four kinds of Morgellons. We don't even know what it's from and uh, it's hard to classify whether it's a bacteria, virus, or a fungus. And nobody quite understands it. You know, there are lots of theories about it. Biological so Morgellons is being dumped on uh, us as well. Okay, they also have heavy metals uh, besides uh, barium and uh, aluminum that they put in from time to time. They also have a radioactive thorium, which is another uh, a piece. So I think we added up, it's about nine different uh, uh, factors. Under assault right now, it's not alarmism, it's not exaggeration. This type of weather modification puts out chemicals and toxins, some known, some not known. Many people who try to debate this issue, if they ask you, why they should believe this is going on. We have film of it happening, end of the argument. That's it. There's no debate, no discussion. This is not speculation. Also indicative of different materials being expelled from different portions of the aircraft. So again, this amounts to weather warfare, period. The U.S. has historically engaged in weather warfare around the globe. This is historical fact. We have data going back to Vietnam, 1968, Project Popeye. Uh, 1976, UN passed resolution.